Hey guys, my name is Rockley and this is House of Georgia, sponsored by Cartelli Tours. Today I'd like to count down the top 10 things you need to see in the Old Town. Number one on our list is Abaruntubani, which is also known as the Bath District. This place is popular both with locals and tourists because this is where Tbilisi begin to exist. This is according to the legend, but still most of the people believe it to be so. This place is full of sulfur baths that are actually a bit stinky, but still it's a very nice experience to go in there, have a nice bath and maybe get one of those really painful scrubs that the baths are known for. Next up, number two is the Left Achebe waterfall. This place is located right next to the bath area and all you need to do to get there is follow the river that flows right next to the baths. In 5 minutes you'll find yourself in a place that doesn't look like Tbilisi at all. This place is beautiful year round because in summer times it's nice and refreshing to be here as it's colder than the rest of the city and in winter it freezes over and you get an awesome memory and plus a cool spot for taking some pictures. Number 3 is the Juma Mosque which is known to be the symbol of tolerance in Tbilisi. As this place is the only functioning mosque around here, the Shia and Sunni Muslims use it together which is a fact that doesn't really happen in many places around the world. Unfortunately the cameras are not allowed inside but you can trust us that it's definitely worth a visit. Number 4 on our list is the Nariqala Fortress which first was built here in the 4th century. Since then anyone that would come to Georgia would attack this place and most of the times destroy it pretty much to the ground. Still, Georgians would get together and rebuild it. So now, it stands right on top of the old town overlooking the whole city of Tbilisi and offering breathtaking views to its visitors. Once you get to the top of the Nargala Fortress, you'll get a view on our next location. Number 5 is the Mother Georgia statue. This aluminum lady was put here in 1958 when Tbilisi was celebrating its 1500th anniversary. Today, it's a representation of Georgian simple nature. In her right hand she's holding a sword which is for the enemies and in her left hand you'll find a goblet of wine for our dear friends. The next activity on our list is a pretty obvious one, the cable cart ride. If you're not a big fan of climbing a lot of stairs and if you'd like an easy way to get up to the Nariqala Fortress or the Mother Georgia, the best way to do it is the cable cart. What do you get? Awesome views, some adrenaline and no wasted calories. While you're visiting the old town you need to take a walk on the Abkhazia Avenue and stop at Maidan Square. Because once this place used to be the center of Tbilisi and there was a huge bazaar. Today it has turned into the touristic center and here you can find souvenirs, cafes, restaurants, bars or clubs, basically anything you might want or need while you're visiting Georgia. After all this historical sites you might want to see something new and maybe relax a little bit. So the next stop is number 8, the Peace Bridge. Peace Bridge was put here in the 2010 and since then it has become the symbol of New Georgia. Once you get there you'll see that it offers a beautiful 360 view of the surroundings and an awesome spot for taking some selfies. From the Peace Bridge we continue to the Rige Park which is where the old town meets the new. Here you can find singing, dancing fountains, pathways, a giant chessboard, basically a lot of fun things. Also, this place is the home of the famous glass tubes of Tbilisi and offers an amazing view of the President's Palace of Georgia. The last but not the least, number 10, Metehi. Metehi Church and the statue of Vakhtang Gurgasali are located right next to the Rige Park. This is a huge heritage site for Georgians because this is where we think that the first ever Christian church in Tbilisi was built. The structure that stands here today was built in the 13th century but since then it has seen a lot of attacks and destruction but still it stands strong. These are the top 10 things you need to see in the old town. If you liked the video please like it and share it with your friends. If you have any questions let us know in the comment section and we'll try to answer all of them. This is it for today and thanks for watching. Iraqli out.